Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I'm here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we've got some exciting news if you're super rich and you don't have any way to spend your money. Uh, yeah. Uh, Disney wants your money. They want lots and lots of money for the new Star Wars hotel that's being built in Walt Disney World as part of their version of Galaxy's Edge. If you've got an extra $1,000 a day to burn, Disney will gladly take it. Yeah. Well, this is rumored pricing, first of all. I this is what we've been hearing. totally believe it. So we're going to talk about this this uh, kind of cool sounding but ridiculously overpriced hotel that they're building in Florida uh, in this video. And uh, before we get into that, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants here on Clownfish TV. We passed 50,000 subs last week. We're hoping to hit 50,000 more by the end of the year. We won 100,000. Woo! Merry Christmas to us. No. That would be Happy awesome. Happy New Year! <laughs> Don't know if it's possible, but you guys know. have been awesome. So uh, thank you for that. So this coming from WDW News Today, you actually did a story on the uh, the shuttle right. on Pirates and Princesses, which we'll talk about here. But first, we'll talk about this. Okay, so for those who don't know, um, they have Galaxy's Edge at uh, Disneyland and Walt Disney World. How could you not know? Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> but with Walt Disney World, they're adding a Star Wars hotel. Now, what makes this hotel different than normal Disney hotels is that it is a fully immersive LARPing hotel. <laughs> Basically, that's what it is. And so it's, it's, you're supposed to be on a Star Cruiser Star Line. And we'll talk about that in a minute, but you're supposed to be on the star line. So everything you do is like, it's like two nights, three days that you never leave Star Wars. Like you're shut off from the outside world. You're going to be taken to Galaxy's Edge. We'll talk about that in a minute and all this other stuff. But there, you, you're going to be in space with lots of screens. Instead of windows, you're going to have screens in your room. And oh, I thought you said lots of screams. No, there might be. You're going to be in space I'm like, with are they lots gonna hide, of Are they going to hide Easter eggs like a Mickey in a space suit floating by? Oh, my God. Like that? That That's would be what hilarious. I wonder. Or like some different ships from Star Wars. They're off a star battle outside your window. But um, they have like a little, you know, activity guide. 3 p.m. Star battle. You know, 5 p.m. Star battle. Boarding by stormtroopers. You know, that's <laughs> so if they like, ever. That's if they ever lose the right to Star Wars. They're gonna call it Star. Star battle. battle. So that's what this, this hotel is. It's basically the rooms have screens. The lobby has screens. It's all screens. So it's universal. It's, yes. Yeah. So you look <laughs> like you never leave. You, know, you look like you've left Earth and you've never come back for like two days, three nights. Now, the, this is the, the reported pricing, which is what we've been hearing, actually similar things to this prior. Okay, so we'll talk about the pricing, but kind of, you know, we talked about in previous videos about how Disney cut back on, reportedly, Disney cut back on the interaction in the park in Galaxy's mm -hmm. Edge. It sounds like what they're doing is saving all of the, those uh, aliens and droids and stuff for this experience. It better be, because they cut on this, there's going to be a big problem. Well, they, they kind of are. We'll talk about the transport, the oh, high-tech transport I don't know what else system. they could have gotten, they could have done, but go ahead. Well, people were thinking it was going to be an actual tram or something. Okay, so here's the concept art, and we'll get to the price. They're trying to sell you on the dream first. Now, this is actually coming from WDW News Today, who are, I believe, straight shooters. I think they're very honest. Um, so you can see we've got droids and yeah, aliens. There's the lobby. I put that picture in the article I just did. Right. So this is what people expected all of Galaxy's Edge to be like. Right. But no, you've got to pay more. So how much will it actually cost, according to sources, pricing for the Star Wars Hotel will be based around the full two-night, three-day experience. So it is an event. It's not like you're just going to a hotel. Mm -hmm. You're you're trapped in. It's sort of like trapped. A you're trapped. Trapped it's a in trap. space. It's a it, trap. It's a trap. So it's sort of like it's sort of like it reminds me of the Hollow Deck episodes of Star Trek, where you go and you're like stuck. Yeah, in that's kind of what it is. Will we see Leia Space Jesus across the window? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be hilarious. This is like a Disney cruise, but in space. If you're gonna stay here, it will be a time commitment as well as a financial one. As shorter one night stays will not be allowed, so you have to commit to the weekend. Now, here, here's the catch. Here's the catch. Cabin for one. Pricing for a two night, three day stay starts starts at three thousand three hundred dollars for one person. So about a thousand bucks a day. That is over a thousand dollars a person per day. Cabins no, do yeah. sleep up to five. You do get a discount with the more people. Continue. Yeah, but it's not much. No. So there's also the option of maxing out the cabin occupancy for relatively cheaper price per person. A cabin with five passengers, so like an average size family. A cabin with five passengers would cost $7,200 or $1,400 per person. What the hell? Who has that well, kind said, of money? That's more feasible. For, it's about $500 per day per person. So, I mean, but still, I'm like, oh my God. That is, that is a lot of money. Who 
is going to spend this much money on Star Wars? And who is gonna? Who is this for? Here is a uh, the, the sources. They always say sources. Um, the rooms come in two sizes: the regular size cabin and the larger captain's quarters cabin. So these are the regular cabins. Here. So if you pay more, do you get to be the captain? I, I don't know. <laughs> That'd be funny. Each floor is said to have thirty-two regular cabins and two first-class cabins. Um, so this pricing is general regular size cabins. Pricing for larger first size cabins is still unknown. That's probably going to be like you know three thousand three hundred per day. Oh my God! This isn't even for. Okay, just to put this in Here's perspective. That, that awful art again. Yeah, this guy looks like he looks like a budget cut Star Lord here. Yeah, he does. Um, so just to put this in perspective. If you can go stay at one of the nicest rooms on Disney property, you know, for like seven, eight hundred dollars a night, mm -hmm. you know, but I, you're not gonna get the LARPing experience that you're paying for. I mean, this is like, who is this for? Well, I don't understand. Who I this think is if for. it's a group of friends who want to go in and get a five person room and then share, like you would if you went to an, a, a convention, a lot of people will share rooms with their friends at cons. Yeah. It's like that, but it's gonna be a lot more expensive. But it's the, you get to LARP Star Wars. You, you know, the feeling I get Live from the dream. <laughs> God, the feeling I get from this is sort of the Hollywooding of pop culture. Is that the new word term, Hollywooding? Uh, geekdom. Yes, because we've, we've seen Hollywood. Been Hollywooded. Kind of, They've been Hollywood. We've seen Hollywood kind of come in and and co-opt uh, the geek culture. Oh, right? yes. It's almost like Disney was like, wow, look how popular cosplaying and LARPing is. That's basically what it feels like. I bet we can... I bet we can make a lot of money off of these cosplayers. They're probably setting out their people to, to infiltrate, you know, these anime conventions to, to LARPing experiences to try to learn some stuff. So, well, I wonder, I, I gotta wonder, they're building a Marvel land in California, in California Adventure. They're not getting the Star Wars hotel out there. Could they be doing like an Avengers uh, hotel or some? I don't know if I've there? heard, but you know. I mean, you'd have to be Tony Stark to be able to afford $1,000 a night to go role play star wars which is on the decline like what the hell are they thinking but if you're someone like me who's not really who i can be okay i'm introverted but i can be in a room full of people and be, be on in quotes for like so long and after like an hour or two i'm just i'm just like i need to retreat and be hidden because i don't do well being on that long so if you have to live this for me having to live this for three days and you have to interact and be like you know this character for three days is like hell i'd be like oh my god help me it's like that gungan is creeping on me they keep like everywhere you go i had a nightmare this is how often we go to disney and we talk about this stuff i had a nightmare a couple months ago i think i told you about it where we went to galaxy's edge and it was empty this is before re the reports came out that it was empty but it is empty see i'm, I'm psychic mm -hmm. i, I predict it was empty but i also dreamt that i went into the bathroom and there was a freaking alien in the bathroom an just, alien attendant or just an alien, alien just living hanging in the, out in the bathroom it was like cast member dressed as an alien i remember being really annoyed that everywhere i went there were freaking aliens and droids and shit that's what this is but you're paying a thousand dollars a night for it well some people are into that well some I people would be know. into it i just i, I this is one it's of those not things. me it's not for me this is one of these things where one you've only got a certain caliber of customer of clientele that can afford it. Mm -hmm. Okay, you're talking seventy five hundred dollars for a family of four, seventy two hundred dollars for a family of five. At. Starting, starting at, starting at. They're gonna do this maybe once, maybe once, maybe it's a once in a lifetime thing, and you're talking probably less than one percent of park attendees are actually gonna pay as much. That is more than the average family spends for an entire week vacation. At Walt Disney World. I don't know. Some of them are paying that now. But, but that's still, for a week. This is ridiculous. Like, I have to wonder. I have to wonder if this is not going to play well. If they won't just take that hotel and turn it into some other kind of experience. Or just a plain old Star Wars hotel. Because I don't see how this is sustainable. Once you do it once for that kind of money, you're not going to do it again. And plus, what's going on with this? You don't understand. Well, I, I, you do understand because I mentioned it, but I'm just going to clarify this again. Is in that time frame, you are locked in Star Wars for that long. You don't like they will take you from here and until Galaxy's Edge, and that's it. Like you're not getting to go to the rest of the park, so no. you have to probably go there and then book the rest of your park visit. Like go from that hotel to a regular hotel for the rest of you if you want to go to the other parks. This is just staying at the Star Wars hotel and Galaxy's Edge and Galaxy's. Edge has you're gonna have one has one right now is gonna have two and it's a bunch of stops uh, shops and, and places to eat. How is that gonna entertain you for three days or three days and two nights? So 
anyway, this is, this is they're going to be on this this quote unquote cruise line. We're going to talk about how do you get from the hotel to the uh, Galaxy's Edge. So we're thinking, okay, for this expensive look, they're going to have like an actual spaceship that's going to take you. Well, clearly they aren't going to have an actual to... spaceship. <laughs> but people were saying before they thought that there might be like a tram or some kind of like really, um, you know, spectacular transportation system. No. It's exactly the transportation system you'd expect. First of all, we're going to Pirates and Princesses, which is my blog, piratesandprincesses.net. Um, so, and I actually got this from WW News Today yesterday. Um, this is concept art, rumored concept art of the vehicle. Now, we didn't mention too that the hotel is going to be called, supposedly, Galactic Journeys. That's the current rumored name. Um, this, the place, the liner you're part of is going to be, I don't know how you say that, Shan, Chandrala? Chandrala. So you're, you're supposed to be on a Star Cruise liner. It's called Chandrala Line. So when you go to Batuu, which is Galaxy's Edge, you have to have a transport to take you there from the hotel to Batuu, or I'm sorry, from the, the, the Star Liner to Batuu, which is actually just a bus taking you from the hotel <laughs> to the, the, the park. Bus. So of course, when you're going to have a transport in Disney, it's what you expect. It's a bus. It's a freaking bus. So. It's like you're thinking like monorail space something uh, or even a skyliner like your own sky cabin or something your own personal nope. sky trip no so you don't ever leave the experience it is a special bus it's a bus you're in a black box bus so there's <laughs> here's the here's the art does um, it at least look like a shuttle I, uh, no you never see the outside of the bus because you're going to be transported from the hotel through a, like an airport walkway so you never ever see the outside oh gotcha so they make it look okay so but, you never see the bus so you think you're inside a, a shuttle a spaceship but you're actually on they're gonna a make it bus. look like you're boarding a space shuttle from inside and then you're actually on a bus so you're in a bus <laughs> and this is box here this bus box we'll it's call it the bus box bus. and um it's a modified bus with an enclosed area that keeps guests from seeing the outside world the window you'll be seeing are screens showing you your trip through space when you're actually driving past a bunch of trees and cars and and parks and parking lots to go to galaxy's edge what if people what if people honk their horns at you as the bus? what if the bus gets in a car rack or something well then you're, you're definitely going to ruin the experience well, I'm wondering what if one of the screens breaks in your room or on the bus and there's just a black wall and you, you can't see anything. I mean, what if it breaks? I don't know. This um, is... So basically you're in a hotel. Look at this way. You're in a hotel with no windows. That would freak how me is out. That, how is that going like to be good for a being an escape? Or yeah. If you're claustrophobic, it'll be bad. But it's going to look like you're in space, which could be worse. Anyway, so you're going to go to this jetway platform to enter the immersive chamber, which is this. And basically there's a bunch of seats. And there's, there's one wall that's going to have screens. I love how they just copy and paste the same guy. Because he's Steve, the only guy Steve that can and, afford it. Steve, Steve, and Steve. Steve's the only guy. Chad and Steve are the only guys that can afford it. Well, no, no. See, I just have Steve, um, Steve, and Steve because, like, multiplicity. Anyway. Oh, Steve, Steve. Um, which one's Pizza Steve? Yeah. So so here's a copy of a copy of a copy. So these seats, I think, from what it sounds, is they're all facing one direction. So you get aboard this. You never see the outside world. You come into these spacey-looking seats. You sit your butt down. It doesn't fit many people. Because nobody can afford the damn thing. That's why. And and, and then there's I think this whole wall is a screen where it looks like you're you're flying on the space shuttle to your destination. So yeah, here you can see the seats. Um, there's like, yeah, there's not many seats here. And then you go to the Galaxy's Edge area. It's going to be this futuristic, spacey looking Star Wars uh, bus. So it's concept art and rumor right now, but that's what you how you're going to get how with for 33 or why did we say it was 3300 a day. $3,300 a weekend, a weekend which is $1, yeah. thousand dollars a day. You get to be in a hotel with lots of screens, and then you get to take this, you, you get to go on an airplane jetway onto a bus, and you get to look at screens on the way to the hotel. You never see the driver, you never see the outside world, just you're in a shuttle to go. I mean, it's kind of cool one way and kind of, you know, really weird in another. Not for that price. It's not that good for that price. That's, you know. And then this is before we know what the corners will be cut, because you know darn well. Yeah. With the financial issues and now this potential problem with the SEC and stuff, there's going to be corners cut. If they're going to cut corners, they need to cut the cost of the, the experience. You know, if you're not actually going to have droids and aliens and all kinds of crazy stuff walking around interacting with you, and you're just going to basically get stuck in a, a hotel with no windows. Well, they might have the droids and aliens here. And the reason is, is because it seems like they're only doing this on weekends. So they can hire actors only have to work two or three days. Okay. And so like, like a cruise line. And also, uh, when you have this limited amount of people in the hotel, you don't have to worry so much about kids kicking over the droids 
And you know what I'm saying? Like they were worried about, it. let's be honest, what they originally planned for in the park is a little bit of a, a, a potential disaster with, uh, you know, stuff happening, actors falling, kids attacking droids, whatever. Yeah. Here you're paying. There's a hotel. They're expecting a, a certain type of person to be there because of the expense, and I guarantee you they're going to have the actors in the hotel. Guaranteed, hundred percent. Yeah. Well, that was that was the concern they had with having them. Yeah. Again, in the the land was just the expense. So it, it sounds like a lot of the concepts that they had for Galaxy's Edge proper, the whole thing, they're just taking it and, and just doing it a couple days a week and on a smaller yeah. scale. It's like, oh, it sounded cool to you, right? Well, here you can do it, now but you, you have to pay, pay a lot of money to do it. So, but then part of your day you spend in Galaxy's Edge for three days. What are you going to do in Galaxy's Edge for three days? I don't know. I, I'm not... You know, are, are there enough Star Wars super fans left to spend that kind of cash? Like oh, I said, this are. is something you would do once. Well, they have the $25,000 R2-D2 units to buy, and they've sold they've sold some at the, at the Disneyland uh, Galaxy's Edge. They've already sold some of those R2-D units. So, yeah, they have people with that kind of money. Are they going to be running them around inside the hotel... Uh, to uh, to sell them. Like, hey, you like that droid? It's for sale in the lobby. Probably. You know? Yeah, that's um, exactly what they'll do. That's 100% what they'll do. You know it is. Take home a gallon of blue milk. It tastes like mango. Well, there's alcoholic versions at Disney World coming. I just... I, 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 don't, I don't know. You don't might know. need the alcoholic version. I, I think so. I think I think it's... They're calling it, uh, what, Galactic Journey? Galactic Journey. It's going to be a Galactic Journey into your credit limit. Mm-hmm. Um... You know, but again, Disney now, they're, look, Disney is trying to get as much blood out of the rocks as they can. There are a limited number of rocks. So they're going after the wealthier guests. I mean, all the resorts they're building, they're not building value resorts like Universal. They're building these expensive DVCs and upscale, you know, they want wealthy people. They want wealthy yeah, people it's, because I'm they just, have money. I'm just thinking, like, for me, I don't know if this would be something I want to do because, like I said, about being, um, I'm sure a lot of you understand if you're very, if you're like me, where you can be like extrovert for so long and then you need to you need to recharge yourself. Um, that's why I always like hide against the walls. Um, that's gonna be difficult. And then if you're claustrophobic, you're kind of stuck in this building and in the shuttle. Uh, short of going to Galaxy's Edge and to Batu, you're kind of stuck. Yeah. And you know, and it, it would be like you're in a can with wind with with screens instead of windows. And I think that is, you know might be a turnoff to some people. Like to me, I'd be like, uh, you know, I kind of freak out a little bit. I think. Yeah, I, I'm not really, I'm not really into it. Um, but of course, you know, my interest in Star Wars has has rapidly declined over the last yeah. couple of years. So. I don't know. Is there anything else we want to add to this? No, um, just give, you know, make sure you check out WDW News today because um, they keep doing stories like this. And make sure you check out uh, my blog, which is uh, piratesandprincesses.net. And, I, and I'm going to warn you now, I do not hate everything Disney does. I will call out shenanigans when I see it. But there's also a lot of things I do like and I report on both. So there you go. Yeah, so, um, all right. So we're going to wrap this one up. Please subscribe to Clownfish TV for more pop culture news, views, and rants. And uh, probably more Disney news because it seems like they keep shooting themselves in the foot every mm -hmm. other day. So, all right. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Hey, guys. Thanks for watching Clownfish TV. Please consider supporting the channel. Go to clownfishsupport.com. That's clownfishsupport.com. And if you want to join our community, go to clownfishtalk.com. That's clownfishtalk.com. Please subscribe. Ring the bell for notifications. We will talk to you next time.